Hi, you guys. Okay, I'm pre-recording this episode before it goes live on Sunday because I'm also doing a test with um for my co-host Mel Martin on the Butterflies of Wisdom. That interview will also go live on Sunday and I will be uploading everything on Sunday. So please um look in the uh, podcasting apps for both podcasts, The Spirit of Six Twenty Two and the um Butterflies of Wisdom. Oh my god, I'm so tired. One of them are working out, two from dealing with every single person under the sun saying I wish you well for your back surgery which we're looking at a date in May so I can be off of work completely even though this is my day day job and I play teacher on the side I need to be off my teaching job so I'm not getting up and off of down off of Liza and so I don't have kids attacking me. My dad actually came up with that. He goes, don't you want to be off of work when you have your back fully opened up and all this stuff taken out? I'm like, good point. Because when I, um, I won't tell work what's going on, obviously, but Obviously, when kids get involved, it's not very pretty. So, instead of me taking medical absence after medical absence after medical absence, we've decided that in May or April, it's going to be um, better for me to do it. And so, yeah... That's probably May, just because of um, they don't know what the CT scan is looking like. They don't know how much time they're going to be invested in my back while it's open up, while I'm under, you know that drill. So basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to have the... Cat scan on March 7th. I will let you guys know as soon as I know what's going on, what date we schedule the surgery for, because, of course, um, my dad wants to give his full and undivided attention, even though I might be medically deemed for nursing care. Um, his fiance and him want to be fully fully present and I mean fully almost to the point of <laughs> get out of here and so basically what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to have a physical therapist talk to you guys about on the other podcast about what I'm going through, if I can wrangle um, her to do that one, and then if I can get the um, my PT that I'm working with um, right now to talk to you guys and sit down and maybe interview her, um, that would help. So basically, what's going on right now is, now granted, you guys won't hear this until Sunday. It's now Wednesday when I'm recording this. But um, basically, what's going on is that I just want to let you know that every single person under the sun is now thinking of me and wanting more details. I, of course don't have more details than what the um, dates I've given you and all that good stuff. So you guys will know as soon as I know what goes on and um, 
I will tell you guys as soon as I come home on March 7th what's going on and when they book the surgery for so they will be looking at it with me. Apparently they told me that these bloods are um, fine but they're still reject- being rejected from the spine after 10 years and so that's why I'm going in and having the surgery and absolutely not am I having these bloods um, replaced. I mean, you're dealing with a foreign object and absolutely not. I don't want these bloods replaced. I don't um, see that happening. They just have to take their time. Hopefully, now that I know it's going to be May, and now that I know that I'm going to be completely off of work, I have a little bit more reassurance that my body can completely heal. Because when you are a teacher walking around with a boot on um, from a broken ankle or slowly but surely recovering from a back surgery. Yeah, you don't, you don't want kids on top of you asking what's wrong and saying what did you do to your leg and saying all that. All the teachers in America could understand that. So that's why I'm a little bit happier when my dad goes, well, we can get it done in May. They approved all three um cases, they just have to um, now approve the exact surgery date. And when I say they, I'm on Medicaid. So um, they they don't know, the doctors don't know um, what's going on, whether it will be little, little surgery or the big surgery, but I, um, I'm hoping for the little surgery, obviously. But if they need to do the big surgery and have um, more time to recover, I know they will put me on no twisting, no bending for six months. But I um, now that it's going to look like in May, um, I June will be my Sunday's birthday will be month number one. And so hopefully I will be up and moving by June. Hopefully after 48 hours I will be giving a podcast from the hospital bed. So if you guys hear hear a podcast with a lot of beeping machines, um, that is my life right now. My life kind of involves a hospital stay, but... um, I will let you guys know as soon as I know. You guys, you guys know that. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love, all the prayers, all the how can we help you, all the everything under the sun. And thank you to my dad for giving me sage advice. I'm thinking that I'm not thinking straight, obviously, and so I'm thinking, I just want to get this over with, I just want to get back to my life, well, um, here comes a guy with out of this building thinking, ay, 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 my life is going to be consumed by taking care of you, and obviously he wants to devote his full and undivided attention and make sure I'm okay, and yeah, so that's um that, and then after that, I'll be going back to college, be in Welling College, and then, and then I will be on the road to getting a journalism degree, um, slash a writing degree, a major in journalism, a minor in writing. But since Concordia doesn't um offer a uh, writing degree, a journalism degree, I'm going to get a writing degree from them, take two years off, then go 
back and get a fashion journalism degree or maybe I'll just turn a writing degree into journalism, uh, but I definitely want a fashion journalism degree, so I'm going to do that. It's coming, but slowly, but slowly, and the high powers threw a monkey wrench into it. So, anyway, it's, um, it's going to be happening, but it's not going to be happening as quick as I would like. But enough of the negative Nellies here. I'm the negative Nelly because um, I don't, I didn't want back surgery as a birthday gift. But um, a higher power threw that at me and they just deal with it. So now I'm dealing with it, and so I will let you guys know as soon as I know what's going on. But you guys won't be hearing this episode until Sunday. So I will um, I will keep this episode and submit it on Sunday and call it Journalism with Back Surgery. And I'll probably Journalism with Style. So that will be the name of this episode, but I will let you guys know as soon as I know what's going on with my back surgery. And so I will talk to you guys later. Bye, you guys.